people like the King James Version, don't get nervous, I like it too. <laughs> if that's the only one you're going to read and we won't listen to other ones, then deliverance will be done in the back. <laughs> I, like, I like many different translations. I like how they read out. <laughs> Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we could understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Amen. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. So we're here today to worship our Lord Jesus. He is our King. I love the shirt that Pastor Steve has on stepping into destiny. Because as I look out at each person, I see many people with a huge destiny on their lives. And the Lord is going to set people free so he can use you to set others free. That's the whole point of it. Each person that has come here today is going to leave differently in a better way. The presence of God is in this house. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. You are welcome in this house. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you that you are here already. We thank you that our body is the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in us, but we are also in the house of God. So there's actually a holy reverence when we all come together and join together and join our faith and put our focus on Jesus. This is the time to get our focus off of ourselves. Any circumstance that we are going through, we are fixing our eyes on Jesus now. We praise him and we thank him. That is a key point right there. That's a freebie for you. And I've heard this, the gospel is free, but it's definitely not cheap. It costs Jesus his life. But the good news is we have a risen savior. He's not dead. He's surely alive. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>